What's going on, YouTube? It's Mr. Tech with Real Five. This is gonna be my first edition of What's in My Dog. So I hope y'all enjoy. I made this video as quick as possible. We're gonna start it off with a uh, Finder. If you have a Mac, everybody has Finder. Simple app. You type in whatever it is you're looking for, and it finds it fast and easy. All right, next. We got dashboard. Everybody with a Mac also knows. All right, and next we got mail. Like I said once again, if you got a Mac, you know what mail is all about. It's your email. Okay, next we got eighty. I'm sorry. Next we have Safari. Close out of that. Next we have Safari. Also, if you're a MacBook user or a Mac user, Safari automatic. Next I have. ADM. ADM is a chat client that allows you to have all your chat, Yahoo, MSN, Google, G, G Talk, all that in one spot. AOL, all that in one spot. It's so simple, it's so easy to use. Uh, next, I have Google Chrome. Now, Google Chrome, not too long ago, came to the Mac. Uh, I think it's still in beta, I'm not sure. But, uh,. It's my second. It's my second best web browser. Uh, I use it uh, simultaneously with my Firefox because I got two YouTube accounts. So um, when I log in to two accounts in Firefox, it won't allow me. It just keeps signing me on and off on each one. So I, I just have them both open so I can do whatever simultaneously. Okay, uh, Firefox. Again, brief. It is my favorite web browser. Uh, it's just so many features that comes with the Firefox, but I give it two thumbs up. Next, uh, address book, standard with Macs. Uh, my Twitter client is TweetDeck. Uh, I've tried this and Tweety. I'm gonna have to give TweetDeck the slight edge, only because I'm kind of new to Twitter, so I guess I'm not as experience and then to know but yeah uh that the calendar also comes standard with the mac uh, i have live type if you like anything to do with uh graphics and word design live type is the app for you, you design words and make it do little actions or whatever i use it on some of my titles um i move it hd I use it to edit some of my quick my quick short films. I like to have a little funny effects or whatever I use. I move it HD. Next, I move it. I use I move it maybe 50% of the time. And it's awesome. The most simplest video editing, editing software, but the most sophisticated, the most smoothest, and advanced in, at the same time. Uh, next, ScreenFlow. I use ScreenFlow 25% of the time. I love it, uh, especially the new ScreenFlow 2.0. Uh, videos is smooth, crisp, export time is fast. I love it. Uh, most of my tech videos are done with ScreenFlow. Uh, let's see next. I have Adobe After Effects CS4. Uh, I do it for my advanced video editing, and uh, I'm still learning how the tweaks and all the, all the you know the back the back doors or whatever not to it uh, bridge it comes with the Adobe After Effects it's where you restore all your media or all your media is stored for Adobe After Effects uh, next I have Aperture Aperture is the Max equivalent to Adobe After I mean not Adobe After Effects I'm sorry Adobe what is it Photoshop it's the equivalent to Adobe Photoshop uh, great app uh, worth the money give it a thumbs up. Uh, next, I have Logic Pro. Uh, for, I use it sometimes for voiceovers. Uh, when I want to have fun with friends, we have a little studio session or whatnot, I use Logic Pro. Next, I have a VLC player. We all know what VLC player is. It plays 99.9% .9 of every video format in the world. VLC player, two, two thumbs up. When I first got my Mac, I almost lost my mind because I was like, I got all these movies that I downloaded uh, when I was on the PC that I couldn't play off my hard drive on Mac. So this solved it. It gets four thumbs, but I only got two. Next, I have Double Twist. Double Twist allows you to sync other devices to your Mac 
besides the iPhone or iPad or or I, uh, I I'm sorry iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch, uh, I used it primarily primarily to sync my G1, but uh, I also have to give it a thumbs up. Make it simple, easy, easy to transfer. It's just it's another iTunes. Um, okay, iTunes. I use it a lot. It's the it's the equiv iTunes is the equivalent of Windows Media Player, kinda, not really, but <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. And next, I got uh, I got Roxy Toast Titanium. I use it to burn my DVDs and music. Uh, split second fast. Uh, can't go wrong with it, man. It does so much. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without it. Uh, next, Photo Boot. Photo Boot comes standard with the Mac. Um, you use it to take pictures or whatnot, uh, record funny little video clips. Um, when I first got my my Mac, I found myself using this application more to, you know, take pictures or whatnot. Let me see if I can take a quick snapshot. <laughs> Geeky, but uh, at the same time, uh, let's go to the next one. This one is MPEG String Clip. If you don't know about this. You need to know about it. Uh, this has helped me so so good on um, upload time to YouTube. What you do is you can export your high definition movies, those big files, those big 500 megabyte files. You can shrink it down to an MPEG4 with this application, and from 500 megabytes you can get it all the way down to 50 megabytes. Therefore, you won't have to wait four hours for it to upload. It knocks you down to maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes to up to upload. So that is a very handy app. I recommend it. Uh, eight thumbs up. Uh, next, we got uh, GarageBand. I, I use it sometimes for voiceovers, but nothing else other than that. Um, stickers. I use stickers a lot because I'm very forgetful or whatever. Uh... I'm always on. I'm always on my Mac, so I would have stickers up, leaving myself messages like, "Don't forget to go to the store and get blah blah blah." Cause I I get I get lost in space, literally. But uh, next I have Unraw X. You know, it unpacks zip files. It's the equivalent of maybe like WinZip on the PC. Okay, next I have App Cleaner. Um, Self-explanatory app cleaner. It actually is, is very it comes in very handy. Um, at one point, I was deleting apps, but it wasn't fully deleting. So what I would do, I mean, what I what I what I researched and found out that this app cleans it completely. So all you have to do is just pick up an app and drag it into the box, and it will uh, delete everything related to it or anything. That has anything to do with it. But uh, moving on, next I have Microsoft Word. Uh, like I said, I was a former PC user, so I don't know. I'm just familiar and more comfortable with Microsoft Word, so I haven't completely, you know, made that jump yet. But I'm almost there, but not. Yeah, I'm still tippy toeing. So okay, but uh, next we have Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint. And Microsoft Entourage. Also, we have Views. Views is my torrent client of choice. Uh, it has a very clean interface, very reliable. It never crashed. I've never. It never has crashed on me not one time. Um, download speeds incredible. Um, I recommend it also. And last but not least is Microsoft Project Gallery. That shit. That one actually should be in between there. I think I moved by mistake one day. Uh, but that's it for this edition of What's in My Dock by Mr. Tech Review 5. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm having a contest. Uh, I'm just going to pick a random subscriber to win a, let me see, a $25 iTunes gift card. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Get a chance to win that. Free iTunes money is also always awesome. Uh, but once again, once again, thank you for watching. Until next time.